Hi everyone, so today we are doing things a little bit differently. Um, we are showing you how we filled our raised garden beds using tipper truck and the mini loader. As you can see here, we've um, already half filled the garden bed with some cardboard leaves, compost, etc. It's called the Hugaculture Method. Link down below to Self Sufficient Me, who does a way better job of explaining it than what I do. And um, yeah, so we're basically just using the mini loader to fill the garden beds for us to save us doing this, you know, and breaking our backs. Um, we actually should have done one video clip of filling it with a wheelbarrow to compare, but we didn't. Um, but you know, this is what you learn by doing these videos. You think about these things the midway through them or, or after them. Um, so yeah, definitely made it easier and a lot quicker though. Just got some um, blood and bone here. This veggie mix we actually got from the local nursery Four Seasons. Um, and it's got chicken manure in it. So we're just gonna add this for some extra growth. Okay, so on this garden bed we decided to add in a trellis for a passion fruit um, and we literally just three quarter filled the garden bed, popped in the trellis and then just built up the rest of the soil around it. Just in case we get asked as well if anyone wants to know, we actually got the trellis and the garden bed from Empire Ray's Garden Beds in Bentley. And they just delivered it out and um, as you can see it came fully prepared which um, saved a lot of hassle from setting up those Bertie Bees ones that you get in Bunnings um, yeah and they're really good quality and we're really happy with them so Tom has finished filling the garden bed with the soil put in some blood and bone battery is nearly dead on the camera we have planted a passion fruit and put in the trellis. And finally we'll just add in some pea mulch for water absorbency. And there you have it, final result. I will add a list of all the vegetables here. And let us know if you like this kind of video, the more vlog style, or would you prefer just more machinery how-tos. Thanks for watching guys, we'll see you again next time.